the reality is for the foreseeable future, it won't be possible to have anywhere near similar numbers using our buses, our tubes, our trams and the overground safely. And that's why we've got to make uh, it easier for people to use alternatives like walking and cycling. But banning vehicles from two of the busiest bridges in London, for example, isn't that just going to add to the congestion, add to the gridlock? You know, even a slight increase in car usage, as we've seen in the Far East and elsewhere, caused by uh, the COVID crisis, can lead to London grinding to a halt. We want to encourage people to use this uh, awful virus, awful virus, as an opportunity to walk more and cycle more. And that's the future of this great city, I think. What do you say to people who think that you are, though, going to, by taking away lanes, you are going to add to the traffic, you are going to add to the congestion, you are going to add to the gridlock? Well, the advice I'd remind uh, viewers is still the same. Lockdown is still here. Lockdown's not been lifted. And so all of us should be staying at home unless we've got a really, really good reason to leave our homes. And if you have to go to work, uh, walk or cycle if you can. And if you really can't, and you've got to use public transport, avoid the rush hours. Do you regret, in hindsight, being so confrontational with the government because you've had to go to them for a bailout and they have not been kind? Well, 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 the choice that I had was to stop our buses and tubes running or to do a deal with government. I'm not willing to sacrifice London's safety or the businesses in London by stopping our buses and tubes. The government were willing to do so. And the money's going to run out. Are you going to be in the same situation when this money runs out? Absolutely. This deal is only for four and a half months. This deal takes us to the end of September. It is a sticking plaster. Is this the end of your control over TfL, do you, do you think, or future mayors as well? Well, I think the strings attached aren't that bad in the sense of uh, we still control TfL, but there are massive strings attached. So, for example, the fares increase is not down to me, it's down to the government. Uh, for example, the condition charge increase is not down to me, it's down to the government. Taking away bus passes for kids, it's the government who are making us do that. Does it put pay to any hope of the mayor making significant changes, do you think, of you making significant changes by them controlling one of your major transport policy levers in this way? I don't think the government, uh, as a consequence of this deal, has tied one of my hands behind my back. Uh, I can't be the mayor I want to be.